Okay, so uh, now we've separated for the guitar, um, we're going to look at what we're doing with our right hand. Cool. So this little guy here is called a pick. Right, we're going to learn to use one of these. Um, there's a whole lot of people out there that will start playing guitar and they don't start with one of these. Um, and it's really hard to get them to pick one up later on. Um, so I like to start people off with them right from the word go and get used to it. Um, if you've been playing for a while and you hate using a pick, just do it for like a month um, and it will be the best thing you ever did. Okay, so with guitar, what we do with this hand is actually going to be a dynamic tool as well. So dynamics as uh, things like uh, volume and um, yeah, basically how strong or quiet you play. Um, so a pick is going to be louder than using my fingers, okay? So when I'm doing that, I'm actually uh, using a bit of nail on my way through. Just got my two fingers together, and that's exactly what I do when I hold a pick, okay? Um, so if you strum like that, all you do is slide the pick in. Cool. Uh, so you people will be technical about, oh, you've got to have it out here or up there. Uh, that's, again, that's a tool. Um, have it where you feel comfortable holding it. The other thing is there's different thicknesses of pick. Okay, so what I did is I went and I bought one of each, like heaps of them, and then I worked out the ones I like, and then I stuck to them. Okay, so I always buy this green pick, which is a 0.88 mil. Cool. Um, but it's working out which ones are most comfortable for you. Cool, so I've got the pick, I've got strumming like that. Um, you might have started out generically just going like that with your thumb. We're actually going to use that as a tool as well. Okay, um, so just what to do with this hand so it doesn't, because if I can, it doesn't sound great, right? But we want to strum something. Uh, so let's learn a quick chord. Shh, don't tell anyone that we're jumping ahead. Okay, um, I'm going to teach you E minor because it's like the easiest chord. Cool, so um, I'm going to miss out that first string, second fret, one, two on the next string, and the fret right below it on the next string, one, two, and I'm just going to play those two notes and play everything else open. Welcome to E minor, your first chord. Okay, um, so if you don't hear all those notes coming through, um, maybe you probably just need to push down a bit harder cool um, so you can hear that's quite light I can strengthen it up a bit by strumming properly add the pick and I get stronger again okay uh, so what I want you to practice doing uh, with your pick because these other two uh, it's easy to take the pick out and it's easy to strum with your thumb Cool. So I want us to do this pick thing, and what I want you to do is go down and up. So what I do is, as I go through, I turn the pick to bring it back up. And we're just going to practice doing that. Okay, uh, so sometimes we're going to strum like that, down and up, sometimes we're going to go down, uh, and sometimes we'll do a combination. Cool, um, so this is, this is exactly the same as the acoustic guitar, actually, I'll grab that. Um, most of us start out learning on acoustic so let's grab that same thing chords the same place strumming the same way everything's the same um, cool so we uh, the other thing that we need to do is uh, learning to play in time uh, so I like to start us on getting our timing right right from the start 
Uh, so this is uh, what's called a metronome. This is an old school thing. Uh, now you can get metronomes on your smartphone uh, as an app. You get one on the computer, on the internet. Um, easy enough to find free ones. Uh, which will be just an electronic version of this. Cool. Um, this is old school because when I started learning, um, I had to buy this expensive old thing. Cool. Uh, that um, because we didn't have like smartphones. Well, we didn't even have cell phones. Like seriously. Um, so this is what we had. I'm not that old. Cool. Um, but it all does the same job. So what we do then is we just play in time with that. Two, three, four. Sorry, I should have been ready. Two, three, four. And so on and so forth. So um, you can change the speed on metronomes. So if that's too fast, you do it a bit slower, um, and then get faster as you go. Cool. Um, and the the other thing that we need to practice doing with us is just doing individual strings. Same thing. Um, I'm going down and then up. Um, so I don't have to turn the pick so much there because I'm in less space anyway. I'm, I'm actually, what I'm doing, if I can get this on a good angle. Um, what I'm actually doing is, as I come through, I'm pulling out. As well as down and up. So I'm getting out of that gap because if I just well you have to come over the string anyway but it's just getting me out of that gap a bit cool so we need to practice both of those with our chord cool and that there is another dynamic tool um, so we can strum or pick uh, and all I'm doing is the bridge, uh, that's this bit here, I'm just resting the palm of my hand in front of that as I go. And that's uh, muting the strings, it's called a palm mute. Another dynamic tool. Uh, or single notes. Um, we'll get into that more later on when we're doing different song songs and stuff, but yeah, there's some cool exercises for you to practice. Awesome. <laughs>